uh, Americans only get uh, a six hundred dollar check, and uh, Trump, uh, being a cuck that he is, a con man, backed out of uh, um, uh, a fight to get us two thousand dollars. But anyway, um, that's coming up. Um, you know the the bill that the Congress passed is 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 quite an embarrassment. It's a it's a terrible bill. While they hand trillions of dollars to Wall Street. While, while Amazon, Target, Walmart, Best Buy, Apple, all these companies are backed up and bailed out. While all these companies are bailed out, you don't get anything but a $600 check. That's all you get. You get a $600 check and they say that's enough. Nancy Pelosi, who's a hundred, who's worth a hundred million fucking dollars says that a $600 check is all you need. All you need. Nancy, <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me let me tell you this. Nancy Pelosi is the Speaker of the House. And she's the main leader of the Democrats and the leader of the House. We went from having a $2 trillion bill on the table with a $1,200 check to go for to, to Nancy Pelosi negotiating her dumb ass down, negotiating herself down to a $900 billion bill and out of that 900 billion, 196.8 million dollars goes to us. Oh, 196.8 billion dollars goes to us. And not even all of us. We can't find $2,000 to send to Americans. We can do that. But we can find a hundred billion, a hundred million dollars to a hundred seventy million dollars to fund the uh, Israeli missile defense system. Uh, we can give Israel five hundred million dollars, who, by the way, are imprisoning Palestinians and taking over their land. Oh, but we can give them five hundred million dollars. We can give one point three billion or more to the border wall. We can give money to the WHO. We can give money to foreign countries. We can give trillions to Wall Street. We can fund abstinence programs because they don't want you having sex. But we can't find money to fund the fucking poor? This is no accident. It's no accident. What the government is doing is creating a policy that is intended to destroy a third of the economy. That's what's going on. So, while you can go into you can't go to your local technology repair shop or or you can't go into your local small mom and pop clothing store, clothing shop because and and that has six people, seven people working in it, or ten if you're lucky. Uh, you can't go in there because it's not safe. But Amazon has 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 a thousand people or ten thousand people in a fucking warehouse, and it's safe to go in there. It's safe to go in there. Why? Because they fund these goddamn government people. They give them all the money in the world. And then they get bailed out when they don't need it. And yet the stores that you want to shop at and you want to support to buy gifts for Christmas, to buy new clothing for the winter, to... to to support your local gym, your local nail salon, your local barber shop, your your local hairstylist, your local community bank. You can't you can't do that. Ladies and gentlemen, what they are doing here is the US as I said, they are destroying they are they are intentionally 
destroying a third of the economy while giving Wall Street trillions of dollars. Um, over, tw- over 40 million people are unemployed. Over 28 million people will lose their houses, possibly. 15 million people have lost their health care. 300,000 people have passed away due to the coronavirus. And these fuckers in the Congress can't come up with a $2,000 check. For you. For you. Actively destroying the economy. That's what these people are doing. They are effectively... Telling you, the American people, that they don't fucking care about you. Even though they have people that do data analysis, they debate, they come up with spreadsheets, they they take uh, analytics, they come up with all kinds of information. And they can see that people are fucking dying in this country. Millions without health care, millions without homes, millions without jobs, millions without money to pay for anything. And they come up with a $600 measly ass check. That's all they can come up with. Oh my God. And then you get me screaming like a fucking lunatic on this podcast. And then people... Yeah. Oh God. Jesus Christ. And um... You know, these people, um, you know, you know what they're doing here? They're creating starvation and death. How are they creating starvation and death, Jason? It's because they're creating poverty. By only giving you $600 to pay your car payment, to pay your car insurance, to pay to register your car, to pay to, to get your oil change, to get your smog tests. To, to pay your, your health insurance, to pay your premiums, your co-payments, your deductibles, your groceries, your power, your, 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 uh, your, uh, your gas, your, um, you know, um, whatever it is you need to pay, they give you 600 fucking dollars, but they give Wall Street trillions of fucking dollars. When they do that, and then you run out of money, and then you're forced out onto the streets, and then they say, I'm sorry, we can't help you. Fuck you and fuck all of you. All of you in the government. You pieces of jack shit. That's what you are. Because you're not helping the American people. You're not. $600 to you. Measly unemployment checks. And then they're means testing the checks. If you're a disabled adult and you're being uh, helped, uh, taken care of by a home health care, uh, taken care of by a home health care person, you don't get it. If you're claimed on somebody's taxes, you don't get it if you're 17 or over. So, you, so, Essentially, what's going on is um, forget you, you're poor. Uh, we don't care about you. Um, you know, you have a mortgage to pay, you got uh, certain things to do. But we don't care about that. All we care about is making sure that Amazon's Target. You know, all Walmart, all these people are surviving, the airlines. And by the way, they're getting more bailouts, bailouts that they don't need. They're not helping you. They're not. They're causing death. They're causing starvation. They're causing poverty. They're causing crime to go up. Um, they're causing millions to lose their health care. They're only giving you $600 checks. They are destroying a third of the economy. They are, dis- they are shutting down American businesses. Republicans and Democrats alike. Progressives are not helping you. 
Those who voted in the midterms, those who voted this year for Joe Biden. By the way, Joe Biden helped them lower the checks down to $600. So fuck you if you think Joe Biden's going to help you. Fuck you. I hope you live in shame. Because you voted these fuckers in. These corporate elites who are trying to say that the poor people only need $600. Only need $600. So what that means is, hey, I know you're probably dying right now. Hey, I know you probably need health care, but it's okay. You only need $600. That local gym you go to, your local grocery store that's not Smith's, Albertsons, Walmart. Your local hair salon or, or beauty salon, your local nail salon, boutique shop. Uh, your local mom and pop restaurant, your local um, plumbing service, although they should be needed. Um, you know, they're all going to be shut down by this incompetent, corrupt, stupid ass government. And and I'm talking everybody in the government. We need a clean house because to destroy a third of the economy. But give trillions to Wall Street, five hundred million dollars to to uh, 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 Israel, to give a billion dollars to a border wall, to give millions of dollars to abstinence programs, so you can stop being sexual, to give um, money to the WHO who cooperated and colluded with China, and and created one of the biggest upticks in death in the world ever seen. To give money to the wealthy who don't fucking need it. They don't need it. They don't need it. (laughs) They don't need it. They don't need it. And yet, they're still going to do this. They're still going to destroy a third of the economy. And they don't give a fuck about it. I I am disturbed. As Dylan Radigan says on, on Jimmy Dore, this is very disturbing. And this is no accident. You might ask yourself, how is this happening? I told you, they're funded by the freaking corporate American companies. The fuckers on Wall Street who get get to do stock buybacks, who get to throw out some dividends to their shareholders. By the way, 47, 48% of the American people don't own stock. 40% 40% of the of, of the American people can't afford a $400 surprise emergency. Uh, whether it's a, a, my car broke down, whether it's, you know, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, whatever it is, my health care, I have to go to the emergency room. I need to go buy groceries for the house. They can't afford that. 40% of the American people, 70% of the American people or something like that are living paycheck to paycheck. And now that number has been exacerbated because people in Congress don't give a fuck about you. They don't. And if you do think so, you are wrong. Again, the government is destroying a third of the freaking economy. And by the way, this is no accident.